Okay, I think that's good. Do you want to shoot or do you want me to go? go? Yeah, we can both go. So okay. take, take us through the title fight. I want to talk a bit about oh, that okay. experience and how you felt going in. Um, and as Matt said in the, in, the, in the press conference, what a crazy year it must be. You must feel like your head's spinning a bit. I mean, did you did you envisage you'd get this fast this far so quickly? Um, it's you know what? It's everything I hoped for. Mm. You know, I I really wanted a shot at the title. I knew there wasn't a female champion. I did not accept, expect it to be this fast, mm. um, but you know, I think everything happens for a reason. I think this is perfect timing, especially because one championship is just starting to blow up. Mm. Um, so I'm really excited to grow it with the company. Um, May 6th was definitely just the best day of my life. I mean, I got it tattooed mm. on my arm, <laughs> ah, <is that> <laughs> so is? I can remember it forever. Is that um, the time? Yeah, this is the exact time, actually, that, that I that won. You won. <laughs> But yeah, wow, it just, I mean, to think it's only two months ago, mm. but it still feels like a long time. Um, five rounds, five minutes, Mei Yamaguchi, that was a great fight. Um, definitely, looking back on it, um, I've learned so much from that fight. And I just got so much more experience with that fight compared to actually all the other ones right. I've had. Um, <clears throat> really got to test myself and and. Because um, that was a tough that was a tough fight. Yeah. Like it was you, tough. there was exactly. a couple of those rounds where she sent you to the canvas. Like. Mm -hmm. The third round, mm. I came out flat on my feet, mm. um, guard down, and then she just caught me straight with a right, and um, you know. It kind of shook me up. It woke me up for sure. I was just like, oh man, I was just in survival mode when she slapped down that arm bar. Um, luckily, you know, that's where training and, and drilling comes in, just kind of doing that automatically. Um, after escaping that, then um, trying to come back from that round, and then taking over round four and five, just bringing the pace to her, um, you know. Out of nowhere, yeah, I was like, wow, my cardio really kicked in. <laughs> Thanks for those um, extra rounds and all that running on the treadmill. <laughs> but really, um, it was funny because I've, I've told a couple people this. After the fifth round of the fight, um, I actually thought there was one more. I uh, lost track. Mm. So I was like, okay, I'm ready for one more. My, I'm kind of tired, but I'm good. And my dad's like, you did good. And I'm like, I was so confused. I was like, what? He's like, the fight is over. Um, but yeah, man. Since that fight, you know, I got to come back home to Hawaii, just kind of regroup, take some time off, and um, it was really nice, you know, just to, because you kind of get, you kind of lose yourself sometimes, you know, get caught up in all the hype, and, and then you can kind of just go back to somewhere where, you know, you have all this family surrounding you, and just really, you know, just really makes me appreciate everything, all this journey. Right. Um, and it's quite amazing, like you guys, uh, I was in Bangkok as well and mm -hmm. I see you guys, you all travel together, you stick together. Yeah. I mean, that's obviously something that's very dear and close and important. For sure. Um, it's, I guess, yeah, we're probably the only family that does that. Um, you know, my family is super close and, and whenever me or Christian fight, we like to bring the whole family out. So. <laughs> Um, my mom, dad, my f um, other two siblings, and even sometimes grandparents. So it's kind of a whole family affair, and and it's it's just so nice having them, you know, all that support mm. and, and love. Mm. Yeah. And how are you handling the, the attention from the public and the media at um, a relatively it's, young age? It's nice. I mean, it's surprising sometimes. Like, you know, I just think to myself, hey, just the other day I was. I was just a normal kid, just <laughs> training like non-stop in the gym and, and you know, everyone knew me mm. as that, you know, that girl in high school who never went out to any parties, nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but, you know, it's cool, people, they'll come up out of nowhere and be like, wow, you're such an inspiration to my kids, you know, my, my daughter watches you mm. and it just makes me feel so happy and, and so nice, like, wow, like, you know, I can't believe this is, that's how they look at me. Right. It's weird, actually. I'm on a lot of um, social media on Snapchat, and um, 
I'll be at the grocery store or something and I get back home and I check my phone and it's like, I just saw you at the supermarket, was that you? I'm like, oh my god, people are everywhere. <laughs> um, but no, you know, it's not been too, too intrusive. Right. They've just, um, you know, very friendly about it and yeah. And the position as a role model, are you comfortable mm. with that? Does, is that something you think about when you, I mean, does it allow you to be yourself or are you happy with sort of the way you are anyway? Um, I mean, yeah, it's just kind of how I am. Mm. Uh, having a younger sister, um, she's 12 years old, I've kind of been used to, you know, carrying myself in a way that, um, you know, some someone can look up to. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel too much pressure doing that. I feel like it's an honor to be in that responsibility and, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> and, and it's also, a, it's a nice image for this sport, like for you guys to be such you know, have these really close family ties because, I mean, there's probably still some perception problems about mixed martial arts and that it's, you know, excessively violent and stuff, but you guys bring a whole different perspective to the to the sport. I mean, what do you think about that? Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, because when this whole journey started with my parents being martial arts instructors, um, growing up in the gym, learning it initially for self-defense and then having it just become our passion, <laughs> It's, it is a different look on it, it's not just, you know, I mean it is and it's not just because of the sport in itself, what it is, um, but then also at the same time it's like, honestly, I don't know how to explain it, it's weird, it's, you can see it I guess when we fight, it's, we go in there and, you know, you spend hours a day training for weeks on end and you get to practice everything you've learned and, and just have the best time in there just demonstrating your skills so for us for, for, for me at least like I don't see it as I'm, I'm going in there just to kill people and, and you know um, I really like the whole journey of it um, flying to all these different destinations meeting all these different people and competing on such a large stage so what do you see as your strengths why, why does the sport suit you do you think mentally I suppose physically as well um, I've competed in, in different sports wrestling um, mm. kickboxing and and why I think MMA is the best sport in the world is is it's just it's everything you could ever imagine in, in one sport mm. and there's so much that goes into it it's not just you know you're mindlessly throwing punches and kicks and trying to take someone down there's it's so so much technical aspects to it and I think you know to watch people get in that cage and really put it all on the line and and show their hearts to the whole world it's really beautiful to watch and, right. and to see their minds and how they put things together it's incredible mm -hmm. and you know you, the the question before um, earlier about you know you being a woman and and you know how, how you responded was actually quite nice I mean we're in, you know living in 2016 as a female running for president of the United States so you know is is that you know also I mean you seem like you're quite you know as a mixed martial artist rather than a fighter is that sort of how you know you're seeing yourself you know? it's how I like to yeah. see myself it's how I grew up and that's how I was raised. Mm. My dad never made an exception just because I was a girl. Mm. You know, he treated me just like any, like like a boy, actually. Um, <laughs> you know, he raised me to be tough, to to have that kind of self confidence in myself. Mm. You know, telling me that I can do anything mm. that I choose to. Um, it's really nice, I think, um, being raised by by parents like that. Um, they don't put any any boundaries on you just because of you're a girl, a boy, and so um, I like to carry that with me, and yeah, I, I mean, when people be like, oh, you're a girl, you don't want to damage your pretty face, blah, 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 it's like, huh, man, I don't like to look at anyone and, and kind of just, I don't like to just like disregard them, but I, I just say like, you know, it's what I love to do, and um, you know, hopefully I'm good enough that I don't get my face, you know, all bruised up, so. <laughs> What's, give us a rundown of your daily routine when you're on a trip like this. Can you keep the, the training up? Do you, is it, does it still dominate your day? Um, well, when we're on trips for um, like this kind of media mm. things, we definitely make time to always check out the gym, see if there's a place where we can train. Yeah. Um, it's kind of just something that's incorporated um, into our daily routine, whether it's stretching in the morning mm. or getting a quick like 
some push-ups in or something, just strategy with my dad. Mm -hmm. um, it's really nice that me, my dad, and um, Christian can travel together and then always have each other, you know, to, yeah, help with the training and things like that. Mm. And how far, I mean, how far have you thought about things like going up weight divisions and stuff like that? Because you're young, right? So you don't, you probably still maybe got some growth spurts to come. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> I don't know. I'm across <laughs> Who <my> knows? Fingers. <laughs> Growing outwards this way. <laughs> With yeah. lunches like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, man, it's so hard because me and Christian, we love to eat. Like, right. we eat with a passion. Some people just eat to eat, but we, like, love it so much. Um, so definitely for him, I mean, mm. being only 18, he's so much to grow. He's definitely going to be, you know, probably in a, a couple other weight divisions. Yeah. For me, um, <clears throat> I think that before I think of jumping into another weight division, I want to kind of solidify, solidify myself and, and, and definitely make myself known as the champ in this division right. before I think of going on mm. to another. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you and your brother talk about being the first brother and sister world champion <laughs> yeah we do we to be honest like you'll be you know we'll be driving and be like hey bro it'd be it'd be really cool right i mean there's no brother sister out there yeah and then he'll be like yeah so it's something we definitely dream about and and then i know that day is, is coming not too you know not too long so you know he's doing really good and i think it's it's so awesome to see that because a lot of people they'll be on social media they'll be saying things like oh Christian you're just riding on your sister's wave and and they'll say like things like uh, oh who are you you're just using Angela and oh, when I see things like that it really makes me mad because I'm like no you know what he is an amazing fighter in his own right have you watched his previous fights because you know I mean we train under my dad and we both growing into our own kind of you know martial artists so you know, I'm just telling people, you know, wait and see. You have no idea what's coming because he's just getting started. And, um, it's the truth. So maybe not too long. <laughs> and uh, the social media aspect of sport today, how, I mean, in your age, I suppose you've grown up with it. It's part of your life, isn't it? Do you find it intrusive that you have to be constantly, you know, sort of revealing yourself to, to, to the general public? Um, and interacting? Yeah, yes and no. Um, I like to share myself, you know. I like to, I like for people to get to know who I really mm. am instead of just seeing this public figure. Um, that's why I try to communicate with my fans and, and try to post things about my daily life, you know. I'm not this like, you know, snobby little, little teenager girl, you know. Uh, I'm just really down to earth and, and just a girl doing what she loves. Mm. So, um, sometimes it's, it's a bit hard just because you deal with some people, um, you know, don't have, you know, the best comments to say. Yeah. Um, but hey, I mean, you're gonna get the good and bad, and that's something I'm learning, mm. you know, now. Right. And um, yeah, so not too bad. All right. Thanks. Cool. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Very <laughs> nice. Thank you very much. Cool. Thank you, guys.